Hello guys, so in this video we are going to download and install the XAMPP server. So just go to google.com and simply search for XAMPP server. Now what is XAMPP server? You can see that here, okay? XAMPP is a completely free, easy to install Apache distribution containing we will use for the backend PHP. You already know that. So what we are going to do in this video is basically we are going to install the uh, XAMPP server in our computer. So for that purpose you will see this first uh, link which is apachefriends.org and you will see this download just click on it. Or you can come to this page directly by simply typing this URL and press enter so it will redirect you to this page. Now here you can see XAMPP for Windows, XAMPP for Linux, XAMPP for OS X that is if you are using a Macbook okay so you can download it from here if you are using Linux then you can download it from here if you are using Windows system operating system then you can download it from here so so this first one which is download 64 bit just click on it this download button and it start downloading which you can see here So it is now downloading, let's wait for it. So it has been downloaded successfully. Now let's go to the downloads folder. You will get this file which you can see here inside the downloads folder. Double click on it in order to install it. click OK and then click next click next click next click next next and now click next and XAMPP is now installing in our computer So XAMPP has been installed successfully in our computer. If you see this then uncheck this and click finish. Now how we will know that it is successfully installed? Well so for that purpose first of all go to this PC okay inside this PC just go to the C drive and inside the C drive you will see this XAMPP folder which simply means that XAMPP server has been installed successfully in our computer now the next thing is uh, in the search box you can simply search for XAMPP and you will see this XAMPP control panel XAMPP or you can simply search for XAMPP control panel okay just like this so you will see this one XAMPP control panel app just open up and yeah it simply means that it has been installed successfully in our computer now let's start the Apache and also let's start the MySQL now open up your browser your favorite browser and then you have to simply write here local host slash PHP my admin local host slash PHP my admin and when you get this UI which is PHP my admin then it simply means that you have successfully installed the XAMPP server in your computer okay when the Apache and MySQL is running then it simply means that our server is running if you stop it okay if you stop it then it simply means that you will no longer be able to access the localhost php my admin okay as you can see here okay this site cannot be reached so you will no longer be able to use the localhost php my admin now let's start it again okay and now you can see when we reload it is accessible now now you will be thinking what is php my admin basically here we create our database and then inside the database we create our table which basically to which we store the user records or any data however to communicate with the database uh, basically we create the backend files backend.php code files and that files basically is inside the xamp 
htdocs folder inside the htdocs folder we create our api file or you can say our php project files okay for example let's say i have cloth sap so i will simply write here cloth sap just for the testing purposes let's say this is the project name okay so inside this xamp inside the htdocs and then inside our folder okay that is every project has their own name let's say our project name is cloth sap so inside the cloth sap testing i will uh, create my dot php files let's say uh, first of all i will have let's say for example login dot php okay so inside this dot php files i will write my code in php backend language so this is just to tell you guys okay otherwise uh, it depends on uh, your choice that is which project you are developing you can create a folder by your project name here and then inside that folder you can write your dot php uh, you can create dot php code files where you will write the uh, code or you can see you will done the programming let's say for the login for the sign up for the e-commerce app for the chat applications and so on so basically inside the htdocs folder we create or you can say uh, save our project folder and inside our project folder we write the code files that is dot php files let me tell you again okay inside the xamp and inside the xamp we have htdocs inside the htdocs we create our project files so this is all about uh, how we can uh, inst download and install xamp server in our computer so we have successfully downloaded and installed the xamp server in our computer